Hey there, XRP traders and investors. It's Rod with Power Group. Welcome back on the pursuit of wealth. You're home for MJ Stocks, crypto assets, news and interviews. Also home to the best crypto community. Today is Saturday, October 12th. Hope you're doing well. In this video, we're going to be discussing XRP. We're going to take a look at the chart and the price action, what to expect in the days, weeks, months ahead. Unfortunately, it's not looking too hot at the moment. We could see the potential of a death cross, a bear flag. That target would be about 44 cents USD. Uh, but after the move that we just had, uh, wouldn't be the most surprising thing in the world. But unfortunately, it is what it is. We have to expect one more potential drop down that could come with some weakness in uh, potentially the sector and, and, and Bitcoin as well. So we'll continue to monitor that. But uh, if we do see one more leg down, this could be one of the last leg downs that we see for a long time before massive price appreciation because there's talks about crypto legislation potentially coming through the Fit 21 bill uh, before the end of the year here. And, uh, you know, with the new administration coming potentially uh, inaugurated in January, there could be some massive changes coming. So we don't have that much more time left before we see rocket ships start to, uh, to blast off. Before we get to it, make sure to smash like. If you're new, you can subscribe, tick the bell, You'll be notified on any future videos or when I go live. You can also follow us over on X, formerly Twitter. Handle for that is at Group Pow. Going to be using that as my platform of choice going forward. And uh, also I pinned here this post. So you can check all of the products and services I use. They're XRP. Uh, so sponsor of today's video, that it would be Tangem. Uh, if you go to that link there as well, it'll take you to this website, the Tangem Hardware Wallet. And uh, you can get a 10% off code uh, by using the code POW. So use promo code POW, that'll give you 10% off and it helps support the channel as well. It's a credit card looking type of, uh, of wallet and it's really easy and super friendly to use. Uh, three card set, if you lose one, you got two as a backup. Highly encourage that, not your keys, not your crypto. I've got some crypto, but about 95% are on hardware wallets and Tangem is by far my favorite and I wouldn't share it if I didn't use it. All right, so we'll take a look at XRP here on the... Uh, on the daily time frame here, if we take a look at XRP from the high to the low here, we had our high of the bounce there at 66 and a half cents. We had the low of the dump after the SEC appealed. And again, it's not it's not appealing XRP itself being a security or a non-security. It's appealing the types of sales. So whether it be institutional sales, programmatic sales, in and of itself, XRP, that the law of the land is it's not a security, right? It's a commodity. We all know this. Right. So XRP, that's not what's being appealed. What's being appealed is potentially the amount of the fine and institutional sales and programmatic sales. So how Ripple conducts those sales of XRP. Right. And then it could go to the Second Circuit. Uh, Ripple cross appealed. So we've been seeing some momentum there. Uh, I think it was Meta Lawman, James Murphy, uh, a legal expert, said that this could potentially add uh, more probability that the case could be thrown out. Uh, we could see a new administration. We could see Congress pass laws. Uh, so many things that could happen, right? Uh, they could settle still. So there's so many outcomes with regards to the case, but that's just ripple, right? Everybody keeps saying, oh, you know, bad to worse and blah, blah, blah. XRP is doomed. It has nothing to do with XRP. The only thing that they're battling at out in court now is ripple and the SEC. It only affects Ripple. Ripple, the private company, not XRP, the decentralized uh, virtual currency, right? So the only thing that they're battling out now is which which sales and how much the fine is going to be, right? So XRP is done. The, the case is closed with regards to what XRP is. It's not a security. The law of the land, that can't change, right? doesn't matter what they appeal. They can't appeal that and the way that it was written. So this daily bear flag here at the moment, is, uh, is a little concerning. And, you know, I don't look at just one pattern. I look at a multitude of different patterns, signals, and uh, indicators. And this one particular, uh, you know, pattern here, this bear flag, we have our high, low, a lower high, anything under 55 and a half cents is a potential for a daily bear flag. So key resistance to get above is going to be 55 and a half cents USD. Get above that, then we're no longer expecting the bear, the daily bear flag that will negate it. And then we could see it bounce back up to around 57 to 58 cents. But if we fail to get above 55 and a half cents and we come down and we lose key support there at 50.7 cents, that's going to give us the bear flag confirmation. And if we do lose that, we take our measure move there from the high to the low, we move it out to our 0.382 fib, and it says we could see a move down to around 44 cents. So again, key support to confirm the bear flag is 50.7 cents. Key resistance to negate the bear flag is 55 and a half cents. So as of right now, we're just ranging in between that that range right there, right? So if we continue to go here, it's not really too concerning. If we continue to range and, and sideways, 
uh, continue sideways here. It's all about 55 and a half cents and 50.7 cents. Okay. So again, could see if we do lose that support there, we could still see another 13% of downside, but from current levels, that'd be about 20% of downside, just under 18%. So one thing, again, this is just one, uh, one pattern, but then if we go over here to the daily time frame, you can see that the 50 day moving average is set to potentially cross against the 200 day, which is a death cross, right? Look what happened last time, saw quite a bit of downside. We had a golden cross, quite a bit of upside. Now another potential death cross lining up and we're bumping our heads right at the 200 day moving average, unable to get above it. So it's been resistance, resistance, resistance. It's not looking too good. We could see that one more final flush down. And then on the weekly time frame here as well, we had a stochastic bear cross and a MACD bear cross and a potential close below the 10 week moving average for a second week in a row. So this isn't looking good. Uh, I would say, you know, probably 70, 80% chance that we're probably going to be seeing another leg down. And uh, that could be the result of the whole crypto uh, space dropping to lower lows as well. There's a potential that, you know, Bitcoin could drop into the 50s, maybe even the high 40 uh, K before we start to see more upside. And that could be another week or two of turbulence before, like I said, I think in the elections, uh, we're going to see massive price appreciation. Uh, and uh, depending on who wins, could be even more upside than, you know, the other potential candidate that isn't as pro crypto. So we'll leave it at there for now. But yeah, it's not looking too hot. We're still waiting for this weekly 50 and 200 weekly moving average bull cross. When that happens, I think we'll be going to test new all time highs in a relatively short period of time. But as you can see, they still have yet to cross. And if we take a look at XRP here on the weekly time frame, we've only got one day, two hours left in this weekly candle. So I can't see it happening this week. But when a weekly candle closes and you see that the 200 day moving average closes below the 50 day and the 50 days above the 200 day, I think that's going to be our go signal and show time. But as of right now, we're coming back down to test the 100 weekly and we might even lose that there at 52 cents. So like I said, it's all about 50 and a half cents from here, lose that. And then we're probably heading down to that bear flag target of about 44 cents. So hopefully this video was helpful. Like I said, I know it's been a brutal almost uh, what seven, eight years of bear market and no new all time highs on XRP. doesn't mean there hasn't been opportunity, right? We went from about 11 cents to $2 even during the uh, SEC lawsuit. We still went to almost two bucks. So uh, there's been lots of opportunities. I think XRP is going to be one of the best performing uh, of this alt season and uh, to end the cycle here. And typically, you know, this isn't even surprising. This is typical XRP fashion where it runs last. So I'm expecting one more final blow off top moment in Bitcoin. So I think Bitcoin could probably hit somewhere around the 100 to 120 K mark. And then once it's tops out and then starts its correction, then I think money's going to flow into all coins. And then typically XRP is usually one of the last to run. So make sure you have your XRP on a, on a hardware wallet. I highly recommend Tangem. It's very cheap. Like I said, you can get 10% off with the POW code and uh, super user friendly and, and convenient, easy to use. Uh, my by far my favorite wallet. So make sure to take advantage of that. And you can check out uh, just go to group pow here on and pow group on x and scroll down. There's all the uh, places there that I recommend uh, products and services that I recommend. Uh, if you're in Canada, well, simple, you can get $25 uh, funding reward just from using my link and uh, uphold as well. If you're in the US and abroad, those are all exchanges and uh, and products that I use. All right, going into there, it's Rod with Pal Group. Thanks again for joining us in the pursuit of wealth. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and we'll see you again on the next video.